Hey everyone, today we are gonna try to get the RX 6800 XT. Right now, it is November 17th, 2020, the night before the release at 9 a.m. tomorrow. The 6800 and the 6800 XT will be released to the public. You can buy them, but people are very afraid that the stock numbers are gonna be very low and they're going to sell out in minutes, if not seconds. So we are gonna try to we're gonna try to get one, secure it, get it on the way here. And this video is just gonna be you watching me trying to get this thing. And now I'm gonna show you the steps that I take to try to be ahead of the crowd. Now I'm not saying this is gonna work because I don't even know at this point. At this point, I could just as I you know I could still not get it. I'm probably not going to get it. If there are a little uh, number of stock as they say there is, wow, I mean, we're probably all screwed. There's some, there's a luck of the draw few out there that are supposedly gonna get it, but I'm hoping that can be us. And if we get it, I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna be so excited. So hopefully this video will be titled Success of Getting the 6800 XT. If not, well, you, at least you're gonna see me be really sad tomorrow morning a lot of people are like, whoa, what's the big deal? Why do you need a graphics card like that? And most people, basically everyone, is just going to say gaming. Everybody's going to be like, oh, I got to play 4K, 300 frames, 300 frames a second, 300 hertz monitor. I got to, you know, that didn't make any sense. No, that's not what I want it for. This is my computer back here. Um, if you haven't been with us before, you can go back and watch the whole computer build that I've done. But if you notice over here, you probably can't because it's dark. There is a GT710 graphics card from NVIDIA here. That is a $36 graphics card. That is not gonna cut it. What I need a graphics card for is not gaming at all. It is video editing. I need a graphics card that can handle high resolution, high frame rate footage because I do video editing, video production, and I really, and I, and I really need it because it's not possible with a graphics card like this. So this seemed like the best opportunity. I made this computer uh, month, month, uh, started building this thing in July. Yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, the point, my point is that graphics cards, this 2880 Ti, anything that was worth having was thousand dollars or more. And that is a ton of money for something that $500 can beat out today. So that's the point I'm getting at, is it would be stupid for me to buy a graphics card at that point when I could wait a few months and hopefully get my hands on one. At the time, nobody knew that they were gonna be out of stock like they are now. Uh, thank you, NVIDIA. Hopefully, AMD is gonna surprise us tomorrow and there will be a large stock. Hopefully, there'll be enough for everybody. I'm gonna show you my setup routine right now, uh, what I've got going on to hopefully get ourselves on the road, the path to victory to the path of victory. Yeah, right. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start right here. Uh, by, behind me right here, I have my um, GT72 denominator MSI laptop. Uh, I have it looked up Twitter right here on a RX6800 thread on Twitter so I can keep up to date. Uh, hopefully there'll be people posting um, good information there. So this is the res this is the the page that I'm getting all my information from, uh, all the links at least. Um, now, are they a good source for anything else? Maybe not. Probably not. But they did give me these beautiful links here. Um, really, all it is is just like a pre-search thing. So what I've got here is Amazon looking up 60 6800 uh, the RX. Uh, hopefully. I'm just gonna keep it generic there, 6800, uh, and then maybe the XT will pop up as well. Uh, Newegg, same thing, and I got so I got uh, Amazon, Newegg, B and H, Best Buy, and the AMD shop itself, uh, and then the other steps I've taken to be able to get things in my cart and then check out because for some reason, when they actually launched the NVIDIA cards, they had people that were getting the cards in their cart, and then they, when they were trying to check out, put their credit card numbers in, they were kicked offline. I guess because so many people were hoarding the site that it was crashing the site, and then you weren't able to make your purchase before the, the site crashed, so you had to start all over again and hope that you could get your spot back. 
So that would be terrible. So what I'm doing is preparing everything. I'm already logged into all the websites. Every website you're seeing up here, I have an account and I'm logged in. And I've got PayPal ready to go. So I don't have to put in my credit card number or anything. I just hit pay with PayPal, put in my password, and I go. I sounded like the Asian kid from Goonies. PayPal! Pictures of pal! You guys, I'd be saved by my pictures of pal! Uh... <laughs> so you can see I'm signed in up here. Thomas, uh, Thomas, Thomas. As you can see, there are no listings at all on any of these sites. None whatsoever. Stop it. There are none whatsoever. It's just the RX 5800 series, the last series they had out. Girl VP, hit me up. You need a video? We gotcha. We can do it. Anyway, we're gonna get ourselves some berry fruit bars, protein bars, so we can uh, stay up through the night and hope they come in stock. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get in here early in the morning. I'm looking up. Get it. We're gonna secure the bag. We're gonna get our graphics card. So that's the story. I'm gonna see you in the morning. We're gonna see what happens here. All right, well. B&H just released a statement saying that there's super high increased demand and low supply basically. So that's great. Here we got nothing on Amazon. Now the AMD shop, they've got some stuff. But of course if you press buy it just says no page found. Which is going to be increasingly irritating trying to buy the card when the page just keeps taking you back. All right, so the morning of it is 8.53 a.m. Comes out at 9 o'clock. Got very little time and a lot to do. Uh, let's cross our fingers. Crossing our fingers. Crossing our fingers. What are you on A? Uh, just uh, go on. Do you have any of the apps? The uh, do you have the Best Buy app or the Walmart app? I or got the Walmart app. Or Amazon app. Any one of those, just look up uh, RX6800 and keep refreshing the page and, until you see it come up. All right, let me go to Amazon. That'll work. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I gotta find it. You have the biggest shot out of all of us at this point, boss man. Oh, 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 coming soon. I got it. It's here somewhere. Somewhere. There, there she is. There she is. This is what she looks like. Hey, which one would you want, bro? Because I said it's got three, but I don't have no photos. Not quite what we're looking for, but oh, buy from AMD. Yeah, that's not the website I had to see that they had the car. Oh no, you're right. I'm here too. And I'm here too, Eddie. You're where I am now. I can buy the RX 6800 right now, but I don't want the 600. I want the XP. Well. It's 10.08 now, yeah. okay. and uh, we have been unsuccessful. Most websites have sold out immediately Our before they even went up. So that's fine. I think we're going to give up now. Yeah. I appreciate it. Oh, well. well. Hey guys, it's me from the 24th. We weren't even close. We didn't even see it in stock. Now, we did see the 6800 in stock, but I thought maybe that was just them throwing a ploy out for people to go and get the other one, the cheaper one, and then they were gonna come out with the XT, release that one maybe a few minutes later, and that would be that, and I'd be able to get my hands on it. No, the only one I ever saw in stock, this whole group of people we had in here, we had at least five people searching for these graphics cards and all over the internet, a whole bunch of different sites. Nobody could come up with one, not anything. Now Best Buy has not come off of coming soon. It hasn't changed since then. And Newegg has been out of stock and never was in stock. B&H, as you saw, they just said, 
no, we're not doing it. So here we are, the 24th. Tomorrow's Wednesday, the AIB versions come out. But anyway, I'm very disappointed. I thought AMD was gonna come around the corner and just nip at uh, Nvidia's heels, but really, I don't know. They, they, they might get an award for worst launch of the year because I, I imagine Nvidia's was even better than this. Uh, and that's about it. It's just gonna have to take it day by day. We're gonna get that card one day. I don't know when it's gonna be. I don't know how it's gonna be, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Oh, we're gonna get it. Anyway.